<laughs> you were like killing the flirty game and I am just not at all. I'm like taking this like an exam so seriously. <laughs> I haven't really been trying to date while in school. Um, that has been a priority for me. I had to go into a lot of student debt to do it. I moved to a completely new city where I knew no one. I lived by myself. And so I really took my focus into if I was gonna stop my whole life to go back to school, that was gonna be my first priority. I think I'm single because I definitely talk a lot and I feel like that can be quite annoying. I don't. I think I require a lot of attention, but I definitely like to get the amount of attention that I give that person. Um, so that might be a lot sometimes. I'm gonna show you photos of the person that you're gonna go on a date with. Oh gosh. <laughs> Are you a little nervous? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? This is your person. Oh goodness, <laughs> so exciting. Whoa. <laughs> Oh. oh wow, she's beautiful. And toward, oh my God. That's my vibe. So, uh, would you date her? Um, well, she's extremely attractive. <laughs> like, let's get out of here. Hello. Hi. Your name is Sophia, and this is your story. You are 25 years old. <laughs> for work, you are a physical therapist. And for COVID isolation, you are with your family at your childhood home. My name is Kay, and this is my story. <laughs> I'm 24. I am a marketing coordinator at a finance firm, and I am with family. Um, not in my childhood home though. Your name is Sarah and this is your story. You're 25 years old. You're either a biologist or a travel blogger. Um, and right now you're staying with family at a family's house. My name is McKinley and this is my story. Um, I'm 26 years old. Um, for work, I am a new graduate nurse. I graduate nursing school tomorrow. so. Ready? Yes! Congrats! <laughs> and for COVID isolation, I'm at my mom's at her house. Got it. Hey. So I thought I thought you were like a biologist or a travel blogger because of like the one photo where you were. It said like <laughs> Antarctica. That that's what it said. Oh yeah, yeah. I was there. I was a glorified dishwasher for scientists. Wash all. Uh, we used to call ourselves uh, just bitches for scientists, so. Oh my. <laughs> so, I'm yeah. I'm a glorified I... dishwasher, too, for my family. <laughs> I think you've been to minimum 18 different countries, and you definitely prefer to travel with friends, but you're totally fine traveling alone. I get that independent vibe from you. If you were handed a plane ticket right now, you would want to go to somewhere close to where I am. I don't know. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> um, and you can't stand when a person next to you on a plane snores. I have been to 20 foreign countries, so right there. Um, I prefer actually to travel alone. And if I was handed a ticket right now, I would want to go to Chile. I can't stand when the person next to me on the plane, um, if I like the window and they're in the middle and they take both armrests, I think that's <laughs> the only thing that bothers me. Like nothing really bothers me being on a plane, but that for sure, because then I feel like I'm like this. <laughs> you have been to 14 foreign countries. You prefer to travel with friends. If we handed you a ticket right now, you'd want to go to Sydney, Australia. Uh, you can't stand when the person next to you on the plane takes off their shoes. I've gone to six countries for sure. And I definitely prefer to travel with friends for sure. 
I, I don't think I would be able to be somewhere different by myself. Like getting on a plane by myself, mm, do I prefer that? No, but I can do it. But like being somewhere new by myself, yeah. I, I would have an anxiety attack. Like really? <laughs> I definitely have to be with someone for sure. And if I was handed a ticket right now, I wrote, I would want to go to see you. Oh my um, God. <laughs> I am not, I was, you're like killing the flirty game and I am just not at all. I'm like taking this like an exam so seriously. And uh, I can't stand it when the person next to me on a flight doesn't let me use the armrest. I hate no. that. That's crazy though, 20 countries, that's fucking wild. I actually, I'd only ever been out of the country once before I graduated college. And then I went far away for college, so I like <laughs> found my own little identity. I'm like, oh wait, like I can do whatever I want. So that well, happened. But I was supposed to backpack South America this summer. <laughs> so it was pretty, yeah. I was looking for, it was like what was getting me through school and it's gone. So, um, yeah. I actually said I wanted to go to Amsterdam because I was supposed to go to Amsterdam uh, with one of my sorority sisters. We were supposed to go to Amsterdam, then Greece, then Morocco, then Portugal. Yeah. Yeah, I got my heart hurts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do consider yourself a political person. You are a Democrat. You do have faith that politics will fix the mess we are in. You do not believe voting third party is wasting a vote. Um, so I do not consider myself a political person. <laughs> I am neither a Republican nor a Democrat. Um, I do not have faith in politics that politicians will fix the mess that we are in. And I do not believe that voting third party is wasting your vote. So you were right about that. You do consider yourself a political person. You are a Democrat or you'll go with a um, whichever candidate you believe is best. You do have faith that politics will fix the mess we are in. You do not believe voting third party is a waste of your vote. So I do consider myself a political person. Um, I am a Democrat. I do not have faith that politics will fix the mess we are in. I uh, do believe voting third party is wasting your vote, only currently. I was surprised that you um, don't like label yourself any, like any which way and you don't consider yourself political, but you have prioritizing beliefs. I just feel like there's no need for labels. I feel like that with everything actually. I just feel like when you know what's right, then you take that path. I mean, girl and I, like we're already labeled all the time with <laughs> with being in in the LGBT community. They're like, what are you? So I, yeah, I can understand that. I feel you there. I guess I wanted to clarify because we were totally opposite on voting third party. And I totally believe people should vote who like they believe in, whether it's a third party or not. I just, in our current political climate, voting third party is a vote against someone that's not Trump in this situation. And it basically, it's just like, I just feel like it, ha it gives him more of a chance of winning and my fear is him winning again. I actually can see that, but the reason why I said it's not a waste of a vote is just because like, I feel like it's really important to know that your vote does matter. And it kind of takes away that sense that your vote actually matters to someone. Does it matter? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. It's tough. Cause this, I feel like we're in a very similar situation that we were four years ago, um, right. which a lot of people don't like Biden. And so they're gonna either not vote or they're gonna vote for Trump. Like it's not enough for them to sway, but between the two, he is my first choice. So it's kind of like, right. Right. but I've met, I've met a lot of friends that have said they're not gonna vote now because they're like, you know, I don't, I don't want either. And I'm like, but one of them is going to be president. So just, you have to pick the one that's- Why not, <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you plan to vote in November? Hell yes. I mean, that's right. That's good. Like that's awesome. Everyone should definitely remember whether we're voting from our homes. I don't know. I hope they figure it out. Um, so we mail it in. Yeah. Definitely 
me to vote 100%. When I first saw you, I said that I would definitely date you. Oh. And now after getting to know you, I would definitely still date you. <laughs> I love how you just added more hearts. Yes, more hearts. I would definitely date you, for sure. Um, when I first saw you, I said that I would date you. Man, always better at flirting than me. Um, after getting to know you, um, I still would date you. I initially said yes because <laughs> gorgeous. Um, your photos were fire. And then I said I still would date you um, because I I think the most important quality to me is like morals and values and so much of that aligns for us and I really like our conversation and how we can go deeper into a conversation and I think that's really important, especially being long distance, like being able to just like talk for hours um, when you can't physically be with someone is important. So yeah, I like that we can talk. When I first saw you, I said that I would definitely date you because you're definitely gorgeous as well. Um, and after getting to know you, um, I definitely still want to date you because you're definitely so easy to talk to. Like I did not once feel like strange or uncomfortable opening up to you. Um, and I got that same vibe from you. Um, so I think that's really important. And I agree, like we have the same interests. It's kind of wild. So that's really exciting. Yeah, I'm so bad. I was like, just, it's so hard, I guess. I, don't, I found it very difficult coming up with assumptions. Like I was just first thing I thought of a lot of the times and I'd, I'd like blank on things and just be like, I don't, I don't know anything, but I like the questions because I like being able to like the first time you're meeting someone, just like rip off the bandaid and like talk about politics. So I like the questions a lot and I like being able to like open the conversation early. And, and yeah. be like you're on the same page. Yeah, no one's got time to waste their time. Like just not figuring things out from, I don't know. No, one, no one's got all the time in the world. I mean, maybe now we have all the time in the world, but. <laughs> thank you so much for watching Tell My Story. And thank you to everyone who suggested we find a way to do this. There are more episodes coming, so hit subscribe to be notified.